Okay, so I'm kind of putting this audio over the vid video, bleh, the video, uh, because I kind of fucked up audio on both sides. But basically, the intro is just you know saying, "Hey, I can help you with a borked headset." Uh, if now, it's, like, purple-lighted, orange-lighted, there are multiple ways to get to this mode, well, and, uh, no, that's really the only information that I gave, but I somehow stretched it. On to the intro. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to get it into a specific menu, but it's not in that menu, is it? It is not, so I have to restart the headset again. Yay, yeah, man, it's... Okay, so I've already redone the audio multiple times. I'm not redoing the audio again without having, like, at least an idea of what the fuck is the problem. My audio is extremely fucked so I'm just gonna go ahead and, and uh, try holding my holding the phone closer to me while recording this. But all right, so uh, really fast for the intro, in order to get it, right, in order for me to have it, have purple lighted it, you have to hold the power button and the volume up key, and the light will turn purple. If you look in the headset, it actually says. Uh, it's got a dead android, right? the, the android robot, right? It's got that on screen along with no command because it's not connected to uh, your PC, an update software, right? a command software via USB, which is what you got to do. The reason I'm explaining this is <laughs> because that's rebootable, right? That reboots. Eventually, if you give it enough time, the system will shut down, restart, and it'll go back to the main OS. Of course, that's not what people talk about when they say, oh, my headset's borked, right? The, the screen is black. Well, for that, there's another menu, one that takes time to get to because I have to reboot the headset again. And, um... Quickly, on the outside, right, you're just seeing the light come on, and then I'm pressing a key. On the inside, right, once you see the metal logo, you hit either volume up or volume down. Volume down will cause you to go into a specific menu. Now, this menu is, oh god, did it boot into the main OS again? It did, that bastard. You booted into a main OS. How dare you? You know, I'm just going to do a full system restart. Hi, Bella. Yes, I know you're in my way. Give me a second. Hold up. There we go. Okay. So now it's completely off. How is this possible? Well, you hold both volume keys. You hold the power button. All together, it'll cause it to completely shut down. It forces the system to shut down entirely. So that... So any process, right, any normal, anything that, like, yeah, I can't speak worth a damn today, but basically what a hard reset, this is, this is what's called a hard reset, which there are two ways to do it. One way, holding the power button for 15 seconds, that caused it to shut down, restart entirely, but uh, holding both volume keys and the power button will cause it to just shut down. Now, because it's not going through software to turn all off, and it's doing it through hardware means, it basically takes out all electricity within the device. So the RAM, not storage, processor, uh, GPU, whatever the fuck the GPU would be, right, wherever the hell that is, or whatever that is, right, whichever chip it is, because there are multiple in a PC, onboard, if you have a normal computer, right, from the Stone Age, apparently. Apparently I'm that old. Uh, that's what I remember. Yeah, basically, onboard or a graphics card, right? All electricity is taken out, essentially. 
except for the electricity within the SSD or uh, the CMOS battery. Or any internal batteries. Like for the Quest, it's got its own battery. Give me a second. Ooh. All right. But the reason why I'm trying to fucking shut it all down and restart is because if you hold the power button and the volume down key, wait until the light comes on. Oh, never mind. It instant bops. So it doesn't even wait for the meta to do it. So it's a system feature. It's a system feature. Of course it's a fucking system feature. It's not an Android feature. But basically there's this little mode here called USB update mode. What this is, is basically how you uh, reset your device, how you boot the device forcefully. Add a you know, device info, you can shut it down from here too. Or you can sideload an update. And that is how most people get this purple light. Oh, it's not showing yet. Give it a minute. There it is, purple light. Most of the time, when you get a purple light on your headset, you think it's fucked. You can throw it out and it'll be fine in the morning, right? Yeah, most people, right, will think, oh, that's not good. Right? Oh, sorry, that's the light. Oh, that's not good. That's a purple light. That means bad. Well, yes and no. Yes, it's bad. Well, no, it's not bad. But yes, you won't actually... But yes, you can't get rid of it easily. That is, unless you're smart enough to figure out the workings of the firmware, not the software. So the only way to actually get out of this mode is by doing a hard, not even a hard reset. It's like holding the power button alone will cause, the, cause a hard reset, which shuts down, turns back on. But holding the volume keys will stop it from turning back on. So basically, what I'm saying is when you're doing your hard reset, once the light goes off, you start holding the power button, or the, the volume down key. Let's wait. Oh, sorry. Once the light comes back on, now you hold the... Oh, fuck, you know, I just remembered. Yeah, you see, and it rebooted back into that purple light phase, which you probably can't see. You see, now it's, uh, it's purple. That's purple, not blue. The eyes are deceiving. That is a purple light. Uh, but, again, let's do it again. So when it goes off, that's when you hold the volume down. I'm an idiot. Sorry about that. Three, two, one. All right, now hold the volume down key. There it is. We got it. All right, and then you've got the menu again. So this time, what you want to do is you want to make sure boot device is selected. Then you hit the power button again. So much power button shit. But then it'll boot into the main OS. You'll see the Meta logo. Right, my head, my phone is dying. Thankfully, I want to be on my headset, so. Yeah, that's how to uh, get rid of, get rid of, that's how to make the purple light disappear. Unless there's another light that's showing up, I won't be able to fix that. But you can see now, it's on.